People often praise me for being an independent woman. What they don't know is, I am so, so tired of doing it alone. So, you are tired? Okay. Well, it happens, get some rest, and go back to work. I got a question. Where do these girls be finding these men who be buying them cars, uh, taking them to trips, uh, spoiling them, buying them Chanel bags? Where is this type of men at? Clearly not here in Oklahoma, so I need to be directed in the right direction. It is always about them. Women think that men exist for the sole purpose of giving them what they want, and that the only thing they have to do, is for them to have a pulse. Ladies, stop looking for a man who can do all of that for you. If you work hard enough, you can become that man. People often praise me for being an independent woman. What they don't know is, I am so, so tired of doing it alone. Why is she saying that she is alone, she has a cat? If you ask me, she is on the right path to become the complete strong and independent woman who needs no man. I'm sick and tired of being a strong, independent woman. I'm sick of it. Well, that's what women wanted, now they have it. And in case you don't know, men are sick and tired of taking care of women too. So, this is a win-win situation for both genders. At this point, I need my booty rubbed, I need my back rubbed, I need my feet rubbed, I need to be rubbed. Did I say I need my booty rubbed? Yes, you did, but I will pass. I already have a Xbox controller that needs rubbing, and for the record, she made that video to get some attention. Modern women are attention junkies. After posting that video, she knows that some simps are going to flock in the comment section worship her, and give her all the attention and validation that she needs, and she will be set for the day. And do you see how she put the emphasis on rubbing her butt? Because her butt is the only thing she brings in the relationship. Relationships with most modern women are just a loose form of prostitution. I'm just gonna say it, and maybe I'm not even preaching to the choir and this is something that's just me, but I am tired of being independent. I am tired of being the hashtag girl boss 24 7. I like that I have independent qualities, but constantly trying to fill the role of the independent strong woman is tiring. Or just being an independent strong person, period. And I know because I'm not only the eldest, I'm the first generation American and first generation college student for my family. This high standard that I have been trying to uphold constantly is draining me mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and even physically. I'm tired. And I need to learn that true strength comes from balancing the two spectrums, not to be completely dependent, but not to be hyper independent. I'm just tired. And, and social media glamorizes that unsustainable, unhealthy lifestyle. And I'm gonna be the first to say that I'm tired of it. And what do you want? Yes, you are tired, so what? Do like all the other strong and independent people do. Get some rest, and then go back to work. How do you call a man who provides and protects for a woman who has absolutely no respect for him? Hmm, if I recall well, he is a simp, a sucker, an idiot, and a cuck. Well, Looking at how things are going, looks like men are choosing not to be those kind of men. People often praise me for being an independent woman. What they don't know is, I am so, so tired of doing it alone. Well, she wouldn't have been alone if she had bought the animal alive. Instead, she chose to buy the fur. Stop trying to do everything but i live alone i have to do everything for myself nobody helps me you are a strong and independent woman who does not need a man so figure it out well so that's how it's gonna be okay fellas we can all see that this is complete and total bullshit do I believe that these women are tired of being strong and independent women? Yes I do. And the reason why I do is because I know that biologically speaking, women can't live the life of men. If men and women are put on the same playing field, there's no debate women will live shorter lives than men. We live in a world that is female-centered and these women are already tapping out after just 30 years, and guess what, they don't even bear 10% of the responsibilities that men have.
That being said, a woman's words are empty, they have no value, a woman's words are like writings on beach sand, with every waves, the sand is wiped clean. And by that I mean, with every wave of emotion, her stand will change. They are talking about being tired of being strong and independent, that they need men to help them pay the bills, and do the manly work around the house. They are crying that they need husbands, but none of them are giving arguments about what the man has to gain in it. But if you listen well, though they are saying that they are tired, none of them is willing to give up on what makes them strong and independent. And do you know what that is? None of them want to give up on the power that they have over the judiciary system. None of them want to give up on the power that they have over the government. None of them want to give up on their right to vote. These skanks are not tired of being strong and independent. They are just tired of bearing the responsibilities that come with being strong and independent. It is known by every man that women want power but they don't want to bear the responsibilities of that power. It is only men who have their brains in their pants who are oblivious to that. Stay sharp, do not believe any word that comes out of the mouths of these perfidious hags. And, in the meantime, work hard, work on yourself, learn, inform yourself, get your passport, and go conquer new lands. That will be all for this video guys. Thanks for watching, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Have an amazing day, catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.